A bit confusing. Uh, we're gonna get the rotation from Cirque as well. Wonder if Tarek was close enough to hear the footsteps of Azza. I think he was, because the rotation's coming through here. CT's managing to get in position. Cirque, who was hitting shots yesterday, connects with one. Breezy takes down another. Two on three, man advantage for EG going into the retake. And they've got Kevlar as well, so it's not easy here for 100 Thieves. They need to get this bomb down and ticking. And they do, so now it's all about holding these angles. Breezy, though, can pull a fast one, high ground. Gonna get the flank on Azza. Wins the duel. So maybe we'll see Evil Geniuses, you know, they got their feet weight yesterday. And now we'll get to see, well, them just hit some shots. And sure enough, there it is. Stanislaw to open it up. Headshot on the ass to kick things off in the pistol. If they come out of main, Pop Dog, and Ivy at the same time, and it's just USPs holding, that'll be pretty hard to hold. Oh, dear. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, they know. They can put on the pressure. A lot of the people low as it goes down, but Jacob is also the very low on health. They're picking them apart right now. EG, if they win this pistol round, I don't know what's going to be left of uh, 100 Thieves after that. Smoke is up, but they're not going to respect it. Gratisfaction. Oh, oh, he's doing so much, and Jacob's still alive to land a headshot. Suddenly it turns, and this is the magic of a pistol round. Ethan back with a kill, and Tarek is there as well, and Gratisfaction will continue. He's looking for that final kill to complete this round and try and save his team, and he's almost got it, but not quite. Ethan will take him down. You would think Breezy should win in that situation. Man advantage for 100 Thieves now going into the retake. And as a... They have a couple of grenades still to work with here. Flash to kick things off. Tarek holding close. Let's see. Gets spotted. Wins the duel versus Jacob. 2v2. And that's the key kill. If Cirque picks that up, it's a different picture. But Evil Geniuses will not deny 100 Thieves. And 100 Thieves will get the defuse. You wonder if he even knows at that point. If, if, if that two people are there, he's just tapping like, oh. Yeah, he's just getting in there. Another round of eco, though, from 100 Thieves, this time with a bet, uh, better on the pistols. Holding close, and Gratisfaction going to get in on this. Grat with two, what? and they are going to win it! I mean, surely it's going to be a boost of energy if they win this map, 100 Thieves, because they've been yeah. looking really depressed for uh, for most of this uh, series so far. Tarek adding to it a bit as he's almost getting that double kill. The dink on Leas puts him at 13 health. Now they're flanking them. Stanislaw is close. Oh, dear. That's a massive amount of output with the P250. And again, the flank is coming. Three people. They're going to be raining down right on top. JKS, he really needs to get back, but he can't. He's low on health, and he gets caught, leaving Azur alone. He's put down the bomb inside of the smoke, but he can't really escape. He's trapped on this bomb side. He wins the one fight, and the follow-up isn't there. Ethan couldn't flank around quick enough. No armor, and Azur will save them. Oh, so not going to be able to see. Oh, the smoke's clear. His timing! Oh, Azza gets caught! On what? Are they gonna try and actually come up the vent? That seems like a crazy idea, but they will, and Ethan is there to catch them. Breeze as well! That was gonna be a very, very hard way to go. In overtime, it is! They're on, you know, they have like a, a good start of the round. They still have to fight for everything. Now they're gonna be blowing up the door, jumping right down. Stanislaw, oh! <laughs> that was his own Molotov that had burned all the way through. How does that even happen? I don't understand. Liquid flows downward, right? Is that a... There's a physics thing going on there. <laughs> yeah. Something some, something about thermodynamics and heat dispersion. Well, Grat was awarded $300. He won the lottery there. Stanislaw's death will not go oh, unrewarded. Yeah. Sark! How's that fair? Brings it back to a 4 on 4, and now down to the lower side we go. That's not even like a logical timing. He was just saying, you know what? Maybe I'll get lucky. And I did. Yeah, I'll take this peek. Four on four. You're right. Jacob in the corner, and they're going to check him hard. Ethan will drop him. Cirque goes down afterwards. The bomb is here, but Ethan just continues. He does not want to play a third map or any more overtime. He just wants to win it right now. Flanking in behind. It's one more kill for him. Currently working on a triple, and now Leah's in a one versus three, and it seems impossible. He's heading Ethan's way. Been playing really good again here. The bomb down. He's trying to fake them out, but... How do you do this? How do you even check it? The smoke on one side, the flashbang to set it up, but this is almost impossible. He's he's in a desperate mode, and Ethan is ready and waiting. The quad kill in 1916. It, he is out there in the wilderness right now. Issa has already crossed down into lower. Oh, he's come back up from Seeker. He's clear things out a little bit. Jax, nice catch that headshot just off the corner. Ooh. Wow, such a small angle to play with. And he's oh. been so efficient. A fantastic round from Jax. Four frags off of him. He okay, well, let's see if anything else goes wrong. There's a chance here for Issa. He has the straight up dual down ramp. Unfortunately for him, that's going to cost a lot of his health. He sits on 37, switching over to the AWP and missing the bullet, allowing Nexa to clean up shops. 
We've seen him do good work once they got okay. behind the bomb site. He's actually a little bit uh, scared of ramp, so this is, I guess, good for OG that they've, they've kept him on a toes. Oh, and he's going into lobby. Yeah, as he comes back, back a bit late. It's uh, going to catch him off. Pl Dodging. Bomb is going to get planted. Things get a little bit dicey here for G2. All right, we've got enemies behind enemies behind enemies' lines. And we've also got the bomb plant, so that's so crucial for Nexa to pick up this kill. At least they know they've dealt with Issa. It is even numbers, but not even health. 4 HP for Alexi B. And the utility starts to soar forward here from G2. There's a frag on Nexa. If he were to underhand that into dark, Alexi is gone. But instead, he tries to throw it deep, and it does nothing. Valda peeks wide, goes for a second, but Kenny's ready. And Amanek now in from Decon is going to try to pressure from the other direction. It's a great peek from Kenny, but he doesn't clear the second player. Mantu, he stops Defuse and takes Kenny. OG have found a fourth round. Look how close all these T's are together. Oof. MBK gonna spot five and take one. Flashbang to his eyes. Here comes Alexi. <laughs> and he gets snapped back on. Wait MBK, a we got three. a round. We have a round. Three P2K frags, all headshots so far. And he knows Kenny's near. He's got a new target. Yeah, you can see him his locked in. His best friend, Kenny S. Ooh, come on, come on. I'd like a little pistol round ace, but not going to happen. Can Amanek swing this back? He went with the P250 flash smoke. My personal favorite. Minute on the clock, the flank's inbound. And if he's not careful, it's going to hit. Man on cross is going to serve as distraction. Issa slowly working into this. Amanek's aware. He's going to spot oh. it. That's a headshot in. He's on for it. He's he can do the 1v3 now. Come get on. Get them all back now if he wanted to. <gasps> Click clap goes the P250 long distance to the back of hell. Mon it's a tense situation here for Mantu. Oh, he's done such a good oh! job. Such a good job. Doesn't have the Kevlar to couple with it. But no problemo. We've got G2 Esports already making their way up from box towards Cat. Alexi B is trying to see if there's anything to be spotted, but no. They've gotten this far without a cost. Now, that smoke goes out. It's going to go and cut off mid to B. We've got two players for OG dedicated to this B bomb site. They're going to start spamming those pistols here. They're getting a little nervous. They're getting a little worried. Next up, high flash. Four players are looking to push past. And it's Alexi on ramp to get gushed immediately. NBK's died over on the B site, but it's CT's falling all over the map. Another flashbang sets up Alexi, and he's done a great job of getting into cover, but he is wrecked. And we are left in a 4v2 retake attempt here on A. Call it if you want it. Valda up long. Oh, oh tough spot. Forced to take a fight he didn't want to take, but he's ready. Oh my oh, god, he's got two. two. Yeah, the yeah. 1v2 now, and now, Issa will come up to bat. He should find one in the open. If it had been clean, maybe he gets the second, but here we go. This is what you love. Pistol round 1v1. He takes to the skies. Oh! oh! And Hunter Kit. dies. Kit's there. It's desperate. He's going to sprint to the bomb, hop on top of it. Oh, London, hold your breath. Yeah! He nailed it. He's on his feet. Once this comes up, we'll have action. Yeah, they're looking to really screw this setup. I mean, they seem to have an understanding that G2 are very much corralled here. Alexi, not the time to be playing with nades. Issa opens up with the first kill. Hunter and Kenny S all dropped by headshots, but here's a response. Two kills immediately out from the T's. And Nexa now needs one more. We are in the clutch, and Vald is not going to have any cover. Oh! oh! Come on! Dude, we've got so many players piling oh, up here yeah. on Cat. They can smell each other. Issa looking to give support here. First player does fall to Alexi, but then instantly it's two trades back from the T side. Mantu, he's going to have to... Oh, oh later! Commit to that. Jax slaps him, and now it's going to fall on Valda. Great first kill. A second headshot connects, and we're back into the two versus two. Yeah, He can reset here. He's looking for another peek, and he has drops off the scope. Flash comes out to help him cross. Bomb will also make its way over. Kenny spots an opportunity. Falls back, drops a second shot. Valda up to three. And here comes NBK. <gasps> there goes NBK. Amanek just needs to connect one bullet between the eyes of Valda. Just one. And he's looking. Seven seconds, drops his pistol. <gasps> Ooh, had a chance, Has but now he's got a brush. Closing the gap. Uh Gets him. And G2 find 10. Another Again. 1v1 in the bag. Full strength rifles, here we go. Again, what could be the last round of the game? 
Five attacking long this way. Kenny gets right up in their faces. Shotgun with that off. Oh. Jack pushes through a flash. Gets yep. a kill and stays alive. He's still here to fight. And they've got to go on. They've got to try and trudge along. Oh, it's Valda to swing it back. And with Alexi already being on such little health, if Valda dies in this moment, it's all on Mantu. They unfurled the scrolls for the tale of Mantu versus Kenny, and it is on the cusp right now. Oh. Mantu's going to best him. Peeking left eyed into Mantu. Kenny's been dropped. Now Amanek, 100 health. There's a flashbang on Hunter. He just threw it. He's trying to set this up. It goes perfectly. He takes down the first one, but the opper trades again. Oh, hold on. Are they going back to Cat? They if could. Hunter peels back to mid, he potentially catches this bomb if Alexi oh, has gone a bit too far out. Mantu boy. walking up now. Some noise is being made. He's going to come out for the fast flank. They're not expecting this just yet, and it's the bomb that's behind, so oh he has God. to commit further. Alexi is low, coming. ladies and gentlemen. He's coming. There's a chance for this, He's and he gets the to close it out. 16-6.